In the video game Injustice and the tie-in comic Injustice, Superman goes pretty apeshit nuts, takes over the world, and it's up to Batman to stop him. However, in the video game, there is no mention of Alfred, who is of course Bruce Wayne's butler in pretty much every rendition of the character, and is always by his side to help in his crusade against crime as Batman. So the question is, where is Alfred? Well, as this video title suggests, he is unfortunately dead, and that is why he never appears in the video game Injustice Gods Among Us, and I am going to tell you the story of how he died. In the beginning, Alfred was assisting Batman as he fought to bring down Superman's regime. However, in the fifth year of the fight, Alfred took a leave of absence and settled down in Wayne Manor. Though Alfred and Batman still stayed in contact from time to time, he is Batman's surrogate father after all. After a time, Superman discovered where Alfred was, thanks to Damian Wayne. Alfred has given Damian Wayne some advice that led him to revealing to Superman that he had spoken to Alfred and where Alfred was. So Superman went to talk to him and asked him where Batman was hiding. Alfred, of course, completely refused to tell him, saying he didn't know where Batman was, and even if he did, he wouldn't tell him anyway. Which he wouldn't. Alfred, as we all know, is pretty badass. In fact, in one issue of the comic, Superman is fighting Batman and breaks his back, so Alfred takes a super strength pill and headbutts Superman and beats him unconscious, and then carries Batman to safety. Like I said, pretty badass. But anyway, Superman is of course not happy with Alfred not revealing Batman's hideout, and he comes up with a plan to get to Batman. Superman secretly releases Zass from prison and sends him out on an errand for him. No one in the regime knows about this except for the prisoner's warden, Sinestro, who of course is a really bad supervillain and doesn't care what Superman does anyway, regardless of who gets hurt or killed along the way, so he's completely fine with this. Zass infiltrates the Batcave and confronts Alfred to find the location of Batman. Alfred of course refuses to tell him, and they fight. Alfred does pretty well for a man of his age, but ultimately he loses, due to being unarmed and versus a completely ruthless psychopath. Zass leaves Alfred to bleed out, and soon after this, Damian Wayne comes down into the Batcave, singing happy birthday to Alfred, when he finds Alfred's dead body. It is worth saying that it's not actually Alfred's birthday, no one actually knows his real birthday, as he won't tell anyone, so the Bat family pick a different day each year to throw him a birthday party, in hopes of picking the right day for his birthday and they've never actually found the right day. And this was of course the day that the Bat family had chosen to guess his true birthday. The death of Alfred was taken hard by everyone, as he was much loved in the superhero community, though Batman and Damian Wayne were especially affected by it of course. Batman hunted down Zass and Damian turned up as he had him and wanted to murder Zass, though Batman was able to stop him from doing it. Now, Batman defended Zass not because he wanted to, in fact I think he would like nothing more than to watch him die, but because it would have been revenge, not justice. And that isn't what Alfred would have wanted. Though Superman turns up and goads him to kill Zass anyway. Batman says that he knows why Superman would like that, as it would cover up the fact that Superman was the one who let Zass go. After all, he is the world's greatest detective, so it didn't take him long to work that out. And he also says that it's clear Superman did this to manipulate the situation to his advantage. Superman never openly admits to this, but he of course did release Zass. It's never made clear whether his plan was for Zass to torture Alfred to find out Batman's location, or to get Zass to murder Alfred to lure Batman out, or even to manipulate Batman into killing Zass in revenge, just as Superman killed the Joker in revenge after the Joker manipulated events to kill Lois Lane and the unborn child inside her, thus proving that Superman and Batman are the same. It's possible to be any one of these, or even all of these, but it is a moot point as Batman does not kill Zass, but wants him taken in to face justice. And though other members from the regime do turn up and defeat Batman and are about to capture him, the Flash saves Batman at the last second out of respect for Alfred and for Batman's loss. Alfred's funeral is of course planned, though we never actually see it. All we see is Batman leaving for the funeral and revealing that he is Alfred's birth certificate and that he knew his birthday all along, but he never said anything as he didn't want to ruin the Bat family's tradition of guessing Alfred's real birthday, though he was sure that Alfred knew Batman was aware of his true birthday all along. And that is how Alfred J. Pennyworth died, and I think it's a shame we had to say goodbye to him as he's such an engaging character and a key figure in Batman's life. Though I must admit it did show how Batman had finally lost everything in his mission to take down Superman. But what do you think about Alfred's death? Do you think it worked well with the story of Injustice or that it was unnecessary? Be sure to let us know in the comments and as always thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.